I've got an issue with buying books. Hi! Hi! Another book haul! Yay! So, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing another book haul because why not just buy all the books that you see off Book Talk? These are literally all the, the most talked about books on Book Talk, and I may have bought them. And got them for my birthday. So we're gonna go through it. Also, I just wanna say we're at literally 999 on my channel. I'm so excited, oh my god. So yeah, that's happening too, hopefully today, tomorrow, the next day, it could happen any day. So, but I hope you guys enjoyed this book haul. Please go to like and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you know every single time I post. And let's get into it. I will show you the book cover as well that I have. I Oh my god, I'm gonna break my arm. Ta-da! Those are all the books. Okay, I'm them down. So, so the first books that I bought. Why is the lighting gonna be changing so much throughout this video? So the first place I went to was I went to, to Barnes & Noble. I also got something really cute as well. So there were these bookmarks going around literally everywhere. They're these. They're little leaves or clovers and they look like this. They come in these two colors. So there's the lighter green color and then there's this darker one. And it just like sprouts out of your book in the center of your book like this. And it just... Oh my god, I love it. So it looks like that, and it just like sprouts out of your book, or you can just pop it and it can go in the front like that. Look at those. Birds are very loud today. And where'd the sun go? Hello. So we're also gonna start on the book that I just showed you. Yeah. I got Cricket Kingdom by Lee Bardugo, and this is the second book in the Six of Crows duology, and I'm still reading it. But the cool thing is, is that they're red stain, and then Six of Crows is like black stain. So if you haven't read the series yet, then I would definitely want to, I want to tell you to skip through so you don't get any spoilers, because I am going to be saying spoilers. That is literally a warning for this entire video, and I'll say it for every single book that has a spoiler in it. So in the last book, we ended off with them with Van Eck, and they were trying to get their money, except Van Eck betrayed them, and he actually kept the money, and he was trying to get Kiwi. I hope I'm saying that right. But then the crows had a plan and they actually betrayed him. So right now the crows have Kiwi and then Vanek has the money and an edge. In this book, they're trying to take down Vanek and they're trying to just destroy his legacy that he has in Ketterdam, but they're also trying to get Inej back because she's still captive. And you also get to see Pekka Rollins more, Kaz opens up more, and Inej and him get closer. Everyone gets closer, like everyone's going through a love relationship or a love triangle, but I'm in love for it. I'm annoying as frick. I absolutely love this book. I am not fully finished. I'm on 368 right now. That's the book. Also, they are <laughs> pretty much the most wanted in Ketterdam because Vanek has that status where he can use this dad watch and um, pretty much put him on the most wanted list so he can get his son back and Kiwi. Y'all should definitely read it. Next book. Next books that I got. Also from Barnes and Noble. The Court of Thorn- Oh, why did my hand do that? The Court and Thorn and Roses series. This is my favorite series of all time. I started reading this last summer because Shelby started reading it and she said it was absolutely amazing and I hadn't even finished the first book. I finished all of these three this year. I read this one last year, but if you don't know the series, it's called A Court of Thorn and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. Everything about this, these series are so well done. The worlds, the characters, the character development, Mm, the love. <laughs> the sex. <laughs> like, I could go on and talk about this literally forever. This starts with Feyre. Feyre is a 19-year-old human. So there's two different worlds. There's a human realm and then there is Perithian. Long before, humans used to be enslaved by, like, fairies. Then there was a war and they started to have a treaty where humans were going to be set free and so they have their own realm now and then the fairies have their own. So there's a border in between. So Feyre lives on the human world. She's, like, the provider for her family. They're poor and they live on, like, the outskirts of the wall. Feyre goes out in the woods one day and she kills a wolf. But it's not any normal wolf. It's a fairy wolf. And there's different types of courts and each court, this, they have different powers. One of the courts is called Spring Court and their power is they can shapeshift. She killed a fairy wolf and that is illegal. You can't kill fairies, they can't kill humans, etc, etc. So she kills him and she goes off and she sells him for his hide. But that night, an evil monster comes to her house. He is the lord of the Spring Court and he comes to Feyre's house and he's like, you can either come with me and live in my realm or I will kill your family and stuff. So she was like, no. 
I'm going with you. Um, and she goes with him, and his name is Tamlin. His court is under a spell, and there's this darkness coming over all over the courts, but Feyre still doesn't know what it is, and she's trying to help him and stuff, but she really can't. Under Tamlin for a reason, but it's going all over the world, in their world, and it's killing literally everything in their entire world, so she has to fix it. So that's the first book. I hope I explained that well. I haven't read this book in so long. Now on to the next book, which is A Court of Mist and Fury. <laughs> I loved this book. This is my favorite book. I want to read it all over again. There is so much that happens, like so much character development that we learn and it's amazing. Spoilers alert for the first book. Feyre defeats Amarantha. I always try to say Samantha and then I'm like Amarantha. And so she goes and lives with Tamlin and they're actually about to get married. But she is so hurt and her mental health is so bad that she wakes up like from nightmares and she goes up and throws up and stuff. But Tamlin is a dick. Okay, he does not help. He just wants to have sex with her. He doesn't help her in any way. He locks her in his court. He tries to hide her away from the world because he doesn't want anyone to hurt her ever again. But he can't do that. So everyone's getting ready for their wedding and stuff, but no one's thinking of Feyre. So she is just dying, but no one is helping her. She's still under the bargain with Rise, And so every month she has to go to his court, the night court, for like a week. And she thinks she's going to be there and he's going to torture her and be the worst to him, her because he's evil but really he really helps her just with her reading and like he's the only one that actually helps her so she goes there once a week and she starts to learn that there's about to be another war with the king um his name is hybrid and she learns secrets she realizes there's like a front and it's just amazing and this is my favorite book now on to the third book this one's so pretty this is probably my favorite cover because of the purple and the mustard yellow but this one is called a court of wings and ruin again spoilers so a lot happens in the second book and the third book Feyre is taken back to the spring court because she pretends to be under a spell from rise really that's just a front so she goes to spring court tamlin thinks she's like fallen back in love and they're finally gonna get married and you know like have their they're happily ever after she goes there so she can destroy the court and I can't think of her name. It start, it's like Anthe. I do not know how to say her name, but who gives a fuck because she is the worst character ever. They have to figure out how they can just destroy Highburn and Jurian. And obviously the queen. Sorry, I forgot about them. But they're going to try to get this book. They're, I don't remember what the book's called, but it's the one that can destroy the cauldron. Um, and it has like a bunch of spells in there that like hides a secret of how you can destroy it. So they try to get that and they also team up with all of the other courts. It's like summer, autumn, winter, obviously night, spring. They, they team up with all the courts so they can try to take down Jurian and Highburn. A lot of other stuff happens, but that's basically the basis of it. So this book is amazing. So it made me cry. Now for the fourth book. Well, this is like a short story and it's called A Court of Frost and Starlight. This one is after the war, when the war is finally over and Feyre and Rise build back their courts and everyone else's court after all the damage. And they also are going to celebrate winter solstice. It's like a celebration. It kind of reminds me of Christmas. She celebrate the winter solstice with obviously Cassian as Amran, Moore, Elaine, Nessa, Lucian, Rise. I think that's it. Did I name everyone? So they obviously are going to celebrate with them, but also this is like a like a healing book after the war. It was kind of slow, but it was really just them trying to build their world back and like heal from after the world war and just come back as a family and just have like a night to hang out with everyone. It was a really nice book and really see them as a family, but Sarah J Mass finally came out with her fifth book and it's called A Court of Silver Flames. This cover is beautiful, but she didn't have any paperback because she only came out with her hardback. So they're different and they're mad. But this thing is huge. Like, look. Oh my god. This one is in Nessa and Cassian's point of view. If you've read the books, you know they kind of have a connection. So it's about Nessa and Cassian and like their lives and their point of views. But along the way, the queens come back. Human queens who were turned by the cauldron into Fae. And they form another new alliance with a dangerous ally. And the only people who can destroy them are Cassian and Nessa. And Nessa has a unique power. She She's like the literally the death of the cauldron so I'm guessing we can learn more about that and her and Cassian grow together and I know in the book a lot happens with the other characters it's not like it's gonna be just them two Feyre and Rise is gonna be in like everyone's still gonna be in it it's just not their point of views this thing is huge and I'm excited to read it so that one and then all these three I got from Amazon 
So the first book I got was They Both Die at the End. So I got this one and this is highly talked on book talk in a good way and just in a bad way as in it's very sad and it makes you want to cry. Okay, I've only read a little bit of this. On September 5th, a little bit after midnight, Matteo Torres and Rufus and Materio get news. So there's this app and it's called Death Cast and it will call you and say you're gonna die today and they tell you like hopefully you can like live your last day the best. So Matteo and Rufus get this call and they're heartbroken. They never thought they would ever get this call. The call like, gives them people that they can talk to who are also gonna die on that day. And so they join together and they're like, let's spend our last day together. And during this last day, they fall in love and it's like a truly heartbreaking book because I'm guessing they had the best day of their lives and then they die. I mean, literally you're spoiled as soon as you get there because they both die at the end. So yeah, it sounds super sad, but I'm really excited to read it. The book is absolutely beautiful. I wasn't interested in reading The Cruel Prince, but she got it from me because she was reading it and she told me how she was like confused of it, but she liked it. I said, hmm, maybe I'll read it, you know, so she got it from me. The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. This is the first book in The Cruel Prince. I think it's trilogy. This is about Jude and her sister. So her parents parents were murdered when she was seven and so her and her two sisters were taken to this court of Haife and they live there I guess and then 10 years later Jude just wants to belong there because she's obviously not in the human realm anymore so she wants to feel like she belongs to her new home. They hate humans, they despise them and so it's really hard for her to be accepted and stuff especially with their king. Their king is brutal. Um, His name is Prince Cardin. He is the youngest and wickedest son of the high king. Jude wants to belong to the court. Wait, to win a place of the court, Jude must defy him and face the consequences. Okay, so I guess she defies him and then has to face the consequences. I don't really know a lot about this, but so she tries to get on his good side but so she can join the court. Probably just make a better life for her and her sisters. Like, look at that. That's so pretty. And it's like a floppy book. I love floppy books. That's that one. And then the last book I got was, it's called The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. And it's from V.E. Schwab. But this is about Addie LaRue. Meets a dangerous stranger and she makes a terrible mistake. She makes a Faustian bargain. So she's going to be able to live forever. But no one is going to be able to remember her name or just remember her. She lives a life of obviously going through wars and love with other people and stuff. But no one will ever know who she is. No one will ever remember her. It's honestly a sad and lonely life that she has. And every year on her birthday, the alluring Luke comes to visit. And he asks her to if she's ready to give up her soul. Um, so I'm guessing he's like a soul sealer or something, but every single year she says no. But this one day, 300 years, before she stumbles into a hidden bookstore and discovers someone who can remember her name, and suddenly everything changes forever. It sounds awesome! Also, the pages are so pretty, but this is like a historical romance fiction fantasy etc book. It feels like it's gonna be a lonely, depressing book until she finally meets this guy. It sounds awesome, and I'm really excited to read it. But yeah, those are all the books I got. That is my book haul. Everyone loved my last book haul that I made in like February or something. That one's doing really well on my channel so I just decided to do another one and I guess I'll just do one every single time I get new books. These are all my books and I hope you enjoy. Look at them. Look how pretty. They're all dark and then colorful right here. Please give it a like and hit that subscribe button and then that notification bell so you know every single time I post and I will see you guys in my next video. So bye. I love you and thank you for 999 subscribers. <laughs> bye!